welcome dear students welcome to study buddy we are so happy to have you in our session for chapter 2 the plant fairy all of you will be today seeing your ncert textbook at display in pdt which is a small effort from study buddy's end to make it very creative and picture which will not only give you information but will also grab your attention and focus have been put in this module i'm sure you all will find it interesting so let's start the plant fairy chapter 2 environment from study buddy this is a story the story is of a plant fairy and here are some children they are all playing in a garden there is one elderly girl sitting in the center they call her didi let us look at what this story is all about didi she spoke and she said the plant fairy asked you to touch a plant at once so all the children ran towards the plants again didi said very good every one of you has touched a plant but have you noticed that all the plants are different from each other did you did you see them did you feel them didi you are also sitting on a little plant said shabnam you can name the plant on which didi was sitting oh yes it is grass how great now let us go back to this picture and understand all about which child is sitting or touching which plant so here is ambu and ambu held the marigold plant shabnam he sat near the jasmine plant michael he has struck the mango bush and dayaram has caught hold of a new tree and is standing there didi is sitting on grass interesting buddies tumne kar dikhaya chaliye hum chalte hain aage oh there are two trees in this picture that's a tree which has either thick or thin trunk no ji ye trunk kya hota hai oh yes it is this dark brown woody stalk and from where all the branches are started to grow these thick plant pipe is called trunk let me check some other trunks oh there are three children and they still cannot finish the volume of the diameter you can say or the circumference sorry the circumference of the trunk they are around it and they are around a thick trunk whereas dayaram is under or is standing here a thin trunk the children ran again to touch the trees with thick or thin trunks now you have already understood that some are near thick trunk whereas some are near the thin trunk let's see another slide michael found the game very interesting he thought how lucky the fairy was she could order everyone around now i want to be the plant fairy said michael the children laughed aloud a boy fairy ha 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 they were now ready to take orders from the new plant fairy so now who is giving the den or who is uh, the playing in the game as the central person at didi's place has come michael and michael will now become the plant fairy and now michael will give instructions pehle who gave the instruction let us see the first slide yes didi was started was the one who started to give instructions and she was playing the plant fairy game now whose turn has come michael's turn has come and 
what is he ordering he is ordering get me some leaves quickly but remember you are not to pluck the leaves from the plants the children ran to collect the leaves which were lying on the ground they collected different types of leaves so dayaram said i did not know that there were so many types of leaves look some are round some are long and some are triangular wow isn't it amazing yes it is amu said they are so they are of so many different colors as well some are light green some are dark green some are even yellow red purple there is one which is green but has white patches on it look even the margins of these leaves are different from each other some have straight margins and some have uneven margins some of these margins even look like a saw said shabnam amu and shabnam shouted together we also want to be the plant fairy didi said not today maybe next sunday it is time to go home now on the way back didi recited a poem for everyone and let us read this poem red purple and even yellow something wet and loose leaves are of different kinds and of different shapes and shades some are like the elephant ears and some are playful like the devil some are torn and some are folded and some even eaten just like the beetle and in the early dawns dark as you you will find the flowers cry chair like dew some are like butterflies some like bees some are hairy and some are plain some try up to look thorn and some even resemble cranes children like to recite poems but they should not be forced to memorize them it will be good if all the children recite the poem as a group in the class whoosh whoosh scatter and flutter in the breeze they all do mutter all day long they smile and play and in the night they sleep away these are of different kinds and of different shapes and hues wow this cute little poem is translated from hindi it was written by vijendra pal sisodia let's now look at the key words oh you are going to do this job as a homework you will be collecting all those difficult words or new words which you came across you will write it in this grid and you will learn those spelling and come back to me is it a job or is it okay i'm sure you study buddies you are really going to study and be my buddy now when always like share and comment subscribe our channel study buddy and download our app we are always here to do whatever is required we are here for you and will help you through all you need to do is give us a call 9512242424 thank you i sign off bye bye from study buddy